Do you have it open there? Yeah. You have it, Jeff? Which one is it? This one? The oh, NTUK Exemplar. NTUK Exemplar, end semester one. It's at the bottom of the page. There's like, uh, there's like four links at the bottom of the page. Do you see it? I will give you two minutes to do that question, then I will do it. It's just too dang hot. Are you doing that question? That's the one. I will give you two minutes maximum to do it. Finished? Fantastic. Okay, so what was the equation of the line? Y equals two negative three. In the question, yeah? In the question. Three x plus y minus one. Okay. Three x plus y minus one equals zero. So you have y equals minus three x plus one. So m equals minus three. So you have y equals mx plus c. And the point what was it, seven nine or something? Yeah, seven nine. So you put 7, 9 in, and you get 9 equals minus 21 plus C, so C equals 30. So the final answer is in the form Y equals MX plus C, Y equals minus 3X plus 30. How many marks for that? Three. Three marks? Yeah. So you should have 3 out of 3 so far. Okay, number 2 is a probability question. I recommend that you use the tree diagram to help you do number two. So please draw a probability tree to help with number two. Uh, if we get a, uh, we don't get a full mark for not using the tree. No, no, the question never actually said to use the tree. So if you had another method, you could use that. Okay. Just show your work, okay? Mm -hmm.
Anybody finished on number two yet? Yes. Um, can I do it now or finished? Okay, let's have a look now. So I recommend drawing a probability tree. You either get red ball or green ball. Mm -hmm. And then if you get a red, your choices are you can get a red again or then change to a green. Or you can get a red again. Uh, sorry, a red and then a green again. Mm -hmm. um, first time you pick a ball, you have nine balls in the bag. How many are red? I think it's four, four is it? Yeah. And how many are green? Five. Five. Okay. So if you get a red the first time, then the second time will only be three from eight. Yes. Because there's one less red ball. Mm -hmm. But there's still five green balls from eight. Likewise, if you get a green the first time, you've got a four and eight chance of getting a green the second time. And um, if you get a green the first time, uh, you have a four and eight chance of getting a red. One over two, yeah. They want the probability of a red and a red or a green and a green. Because they said the same colour. So red and red would be 4 over 9 times 3 over 8, which is 36 over 72. A green and a green would be 5 over 9 times 4 over 8, which is 20 over 72. Add them together, I think you get 4 over 9, is it? No, 5, five over 9, is it? Yeah. If you add both these answers together, you get... Four over nine. It is 4 over 9, yeah. yeah. Uh, you get 56 over 72, which is 4 over 9, or if you want that 0 0.444. I made a mistake. Uh, there. Oh, it's not 36. Oh. I Do we have to put it in decimal? No, 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 no. 12 over 36, I'm sorry. So this should have been 36 over 72. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with me? 32! <laughs> I'm hungry. Mm. Yeah. 32. I'm forgetting how to add. Uh, 32 over 72. Okay, that's number two. Okay. Can we go on to number three now? Yeah. Yep, okay. Number three is a uh, practice using the quadratic formula. Yeah. Okay, got an answer for three? Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at three now. Um, so the quadratic is stuck. 3x squared equals 7x minus 3. That's 3x squared minus 7x plus 3 equals 0. So x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. 
7 plus or minus the square root of 9 13 all over 6 and uh, that's the answer mm -hmm. did you get that answer as well or not yes. now the nice thing is we can check the answer on the calculator mode 53 3 minus 7 3 and we do get the right answer is that okay guys mm -hmm. yeah we'll do number four now mm -hmm. uh, so number four actually Karen if we get finished this section A, we might have time actually to do those probability ones today. Yeah, how are we doing here? This one's a little bit harder. Finished it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's have a look. Um what was the expression <coughs> bracket? <coughs> yeah. Eight. Okay, so they wanted the first four terms ascended, increase in powers. So the first term, let me just make that two a bit clearer. That's eight C zero two eight minus 5x0 plus 8c1 2 7 minus 5x1 plus 8c2 2 6 minus 5x squared plus 8c3 2 5 minus 5x cubed uh, 2 4 8 16 256 is the first one then the next one is 1024 uh, times 5, 5,120? Yeah. All right. Um, and then the next one, I've reached my limit now. Uh, 8C2, 2 power 6 times 25. Let's have a look here. 8C2 times 2 power 6 times 25, 44,800 yes. x squared and then finally 8c3 times 2 power 5 times 125, 224,000 x cubed and that's the answer <coughs> Yeah. Yeah. Reasonable question, mm -hmm. but still a bit bit tricky. Okay, write that down if you need to, and then when you're ready, have a look at number five.
Okay, five now. Five is a bit tricky, kind of sneaky question. Try your best, I'll do it in a minute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's have a look now. Right, five was sneaky. Watch carefully, please. Uh, y equals 2x. This equals e log 2x equals e 0.69x equals 1 e 0.69x a is positive and b is positive and I know you know this graph yeah, yeah. and this point here is 1 do we have to show that graph you don't you don't y equal y equals 1 over 2 mm -hmm. x equals 2 minus 1 yeah. x equals 2 minus x equals e log 2 minus x equals 1 e minus 0 0.69 x a is positive b is negative so this graph looks like this as you remember uh, Close enough. Also one. Now, in fact, do they ask for it on the same graph? No, they don't. So. Uh, sneaky question. Sneaky. Okay, are we ready for the next one? Not yet, okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Next one is a trigonometry question. Find AC and the area. So let me know when the rest of you are ready. Are we really ready with this one? Yeah, yeah Zaini, you finished it? Yeah. Yusuf? Yeah. Okay, one more minute. Lucas? Mm. You're trying? Okay, good. Good news is you seem to be a lot smarter than the science and engineering students. Well, you're at least a lot quicker than them. I told some of them to watch this video, so I hope they get that message. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was Ian's idea to say that, by the way. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I do this one now? Yeah. yeah. So, um, let's have a look. A6. Um, A, B, C, 40 degrees, 63 degrees. And you also know BC is 15. So we can easily find out this angle to be... Hold on, hold on, don't confuse me. That's 103. 77. Thank you. 77 degrees. And the side we want is BC, which is this side, so I'll call that X. So using the sine rule, I have X over... Sine 63 equals 15 over sine 77. Cross that out and bring it up here. And uh, put that in on the calculator. Sine 63 over, what's it, sine 77. Multiply by 15 and you get 13.7 centimeters. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You look confused, Amy. Is your calculator in radian mode? Go on, check. Check. Yeah, I got 20.8. Huh? Mm -hmm. What did I do wrong here? Uh, that's not, you should do the 15 over sine uh, 40, not sign 63. Oh my goodness, uh, what, a what a disaster. <laughs> Thank you. That should have been 40. 40. Yeah. <coughs>
20 point eight. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm very hungry, and those chocolate muffins—they're not helping my concentration. <laughs> <laughs> if I want one, I can take one. Yeah. No, I'll be good. I'll be good. <laughs> um, okay, and now area. That's a half fifteen times twenty point eight. Times seventy three. Seventy seven. Seventy seven. Yeah. It's around one hundred and fifty six. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look here. Uh what did you get about? One hundred and fifty two. One hundred and fifty two. Yeah? So uh, for the final answer. Three significant figures. Mm-hmm. Okay, can we go on to seven now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. Wait, I think the answer she gets wrong. Why? What's it say? It's no, 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 no. The customer is that. Oh, okay. No, it could be. It could be. They do make mistakes. Or my calculator is wrong. We'll see which one. What mode your calculator in? Uh, the answer she said is, is like minus 3.419. What mode is your calculator in? Ah, bad news. It's your mistake. Oh, really? It should be in radian mode. Now, why? how do I know that? Yeah, how do I know that? Well, look, there's no degree symbol on the X. Oh. Also, radian mode is the normal mode you should always use unless there's degrees in the question. It's a derivative one, this one. Derivative. All is good now? Yeah. Uh, now, maybe maybe better look next time because they do have mistakes in the marking scheme. So. Don't be discouraged by this defeat. <laughs> what company is that, Lucas? That laptop? What's it called? I don't know. I've never heard of them. Are they Korean company? Catch it, book. Okay. It looks like they're trying to make it look like an apple. They have a similar look. Okay, let's do seven now. Um, Ian, what was the original function? Uh, it was five x cubed uh, plus sine x. Nine sine x yeah. plus log x. No, 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 minus ln x. Minus log x. Okay, so the derivative here is fifteen x squared plus, 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 plus cos x. Minus, minus one, one over x. x. And then we want the derivative at 0.2. Zero. So that's 15, 0. 0.2 squared plus cos 0. 0.2 minus 1 over 0. 0.2. Mm-hmm. On the old calculator, make sure we're in radian mode. Oops. Minus 1 over, and they want three significant figures, so that will be minus 3.42. Mm-hmm. Now, for those people who have this nice calculator, watch this. You can go 
shift derivative button 0 0.2 and you can type in the question 5 I know outrageous huh 5x cubed plus sine x minus 1 over x and we should get the same answer and we don't because I did this this is so stupid of me. I did the exact same mistake earlier today. Uh, thank you, Yusuf. Uh, log X, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go. Same answer. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, okay. Yes. If I change the 0 0.2 Oh no, don't be thinking like this. This is the wrong thoughts to be happening. Don't it is forbidden thoughts. Those are forbidden thoughts, okay? Right, can we look at the next one now? Yes? No 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 forbidden. <laughs> forbidden. Don't be thinking this. It's quite forbidden. Okay. Um eight now please. Finished? It's a complete in the square and we have to use this to show where it crosses the y-axis and the turning point. So, we have a8 y equals x squared minus x squared minus 10x plus 27 that's x minus 5 squared plus 2 yes and then a quick sketch x y the turning point will be at um, 5 2 yes. so that could be like here for example 5 2 and where does it cross <coughs> the y-axis at 27 and so the curve will look like this and that gives you how many marks? quite a lot I think, 4 marks yeah this is actually kind of nice, is that one okay? Mm -hmm. yeah uh, okay 9 now so 2 questions left and we're finished, great uh, 9 please um, is 9 definite or indefinite? Indefinite, very good.
Okay, um, it shouldn't actually take you that long to do number nine. So what was the question? Integrate three minus three over t plus three t minus two minus um, one over three t squared dt. Do I have all of that? Yeah. yeah. So this becomes 3t minus 3 yeah. log t uh, minus 6t minus 3 minus 2 over 3t. No, I'm sorry. Uh, again, I'm very hungry. Um, <laughs> 3 t minus 3 log t. Then increase the power by 1. Divide by the new power. Increase the power by 1. Divide by the new power plus c. So the final answer is 3t minus 3 log t minus 3 over t minus t cubed over 9 plus c. That's what you got. Good, okay. Can I write the 3 log t, like log t power 3? <laughs> yeah. Can I write the 3 log t power 3? Yes, if you, if you wish, if okay. this makes you happy, yes, you can. Uh, oh, uh -huh. oh, that will cost you one mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So don't, don't do that. Okay, can we look at 10 now? Yeah. Yep, okay, so 10, last one here. Do you know what, 10, um, I think I'll just do 10 now, it's a bit different. 0 to a, 2x minus 3, mm -hmm. dx equals 28. Mm -hmm. So here we want to find a. Mm -hmm. Well, we know that this integrates to x squared minus 3x. Uh, yeah, and we don't have to write the plus c in this case. 0 to a, that should equal... 28. Yeah. So, so that means, yeah, a squared minus 3a minus, yeah, 0 minus 0 equals 28. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. So a squared minus 3a minus 28 equals 0. Actually, this isn't too bad, is it? Um, a minus 7, a plus 4. So a seven yeah. 4 minus 4. <coughs> And how many? Five marks? Mm -hmm. It's okay, I think. Yeah. In the next class, we will start with section B now, and we will talk more about section B, but we'll finish there, I think. Mm -hmm. I know there's still one minute left, but, you know, it's sunny, this is your last class, ah. so I'll let you leave one minute early. Oh, no, don't, don't thank me, it's okay, it's not necessary. <laughs> Oh, too kind, too kind. One day, one minute. Yeah. All right, can I shut this off now? Yeah. yeah. Okay.